Jennifer as a person, at least I find her to be one of the most selfless and intellectually generous scientists I have ever met. She is a scientist in the field that so many people revere and admire, of course, for her great successes. But she's also so accessible and willing to kind of share ideas and you know, connect with so many people. When I was in graduate school, I had a wonderful advisor who encouraged all of us students to focus on the fundamentals in science. I really took that to heart and I made a career out of understanding the molecular basis for life. In my case, focusing on molecules called RNA. I wanted to understand how that works and, and ultimately why molecules like that are, are used in biology. I first became familiar with Jennifer Doudna's work with her seminal discovery of the detailed biochemical mechanism by which CRISPR works. CRISPR is an extremely useful tool to interrogate gene function. CRISPR-Cas9 is a technology that allows scientists to make targeted changes in DNA. And one of the amazing things about this technology is that it's useful across every area of biology. If you're a geneticist, CRISPR becomes the tool of choice because now you can start to modify gene function and gene activity with almost the precision of a scalpel. And if it was not for genome editing, we would not be at the level that we are in my research laboratory doing the cutting edge science that we're able to do. CRISPR gave us just the most powerful and precise way to manipulate genes and manipulate molecules in cancer cells. And what has happened is this, my field of research has been transformed. And so it's been a far-reaching revolution across the entire field. And undoubtedly, this is going to lead to better cancer drugs in the future. When I think about new therapeutics that might be introduced that are only possible using CRISPR technology, I'm thinking about ways that we can not just treat a genetic disorder chronically, but where we can provide a one-and-done cure for a genetic disease. That's so transformative for patients. Cold Spring Harbor Laboratories courses now teach CRISPR technologies and techniques to many scientists from around the world. Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory has been a place where I've had some of the most impactful discussions and conversations of my career. It seemed like we had to move fast to try to build a, a conference around this emerging field. I think the willingness of the laboratory here to sponsor an annual conference the future of CRISPR-based genome editing that has been an extraordinary exchange of ideas and meeting place for people from all over the world who come together to share ideas and discuss really what the future of this technology is going to bring. She's becoming an advocate for science in general, well beyond just genome editing. To have that kind of voice and that presence and to have that humility at the same time is pretty rare somebody who's won a Nobel Prize. It goes without saying that every field of biology has experienced a renaissance in the wake of the CRISPR technology revolution. I would imagine in my lifetime we will see a large number of human diseases uh, be a thing of the past because of this technology. It'll take a lot of work to get there, but the stage is really set for that revolution to happen. I feel amazed at the progress with gene editing and CRISPR over the last decade. It's, it's truly extraordinary. It's just so exciting to think about what's going to be possible.